Marcus Conti reporting on Act 12 of the Gilets Jaunes. Les Gilets Jaunes, yellow vests in France. Ready to storm the streets again this Saturday. Walking the streets, the French people standing up against Macron. Standing up against globalism, the, the globalist cabal. Trying to kick those bastards out of their country. Uh, so there's a, uh, in, in, um, in France, there is a national boycott. Uh, as part of Act 12, I guess, Act 12, Act 13, right? On uh, Tuesday, February 5, the the people involved in the Gilets jaunes will officially boycott all large corporations, large cabal organizations, right? The chains, get rid of them. Support the locals, you know, got to buy stuff, right? You got you to gotta eat, right? Buy the buy from locals and they're, they're choking the oligarchy now in Venezuela in Venezuela in France seventy they should be doing this in Venezuela maybe Venezuela get your fucking vest on see my vest man check this shit out everybody's complaining I don't like yellow vest look at this shit man I got I put my American flag on there my my uh, lapel flag damn love this vest man I'm all in man I'm a yellow vest dude dude yellow vest so the thing to, to understand about France is that 70% of the people, 70% of the population in France is with the Gilets jaunes. 70% are for it, for ousting the corporate cabal. Right? Know what the swamp is, right? In this country, we're calling a deep state. Know who thy enemy is. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Hey, Google, what is cabal? According to Wikipedia, a cabal is a small group of people united in some close design, usually to promote their private views of or interests in an ideology, state, or other community, often by intrigue and usually unbeknownst to those outside their group. See that? So cabal, small group, small group, not a big group. All right, so you got a small group, right? That's what that's the end result of a capitalist system that exhausts itself and becomes oligarchy and becomes monopoly. It becomes a, a small group. There's three people in this country that, that have more wealth than 70% of the people. Is that insane? Like the Waltons, the three top billionaires? They have something like, you know, or, or, or Jeff Bezos of Amazon with $120 billion in net worth and people are lining up to get food stamps and... Uh, and uh, they're uninsured in Medicaid. They have no jobs. And so that, I, want to, I want to talk about that in a second. So let's talk about yellow vest in the United States. Now, there is some encouraging stuff out there. I have seen, I have seen some movement in terms of uh, yellow vest in America, but not a lot of it, right? There's a couple of bloggers now. There's a couple of people that are starting to uh, realize that, you know, is Q even still a thing? Is are people still waiting for the internet phantom to come and save them is that even a thing anymore i don't even know i i mean to me it's a it's it's been it's stupid and dead but are people still waiting for some plan some politician to come and fucking save you are people still doing that i don't know so i mean and that is the big problem right the big problem in America, I wrote a bunch of stuff down. I'm not good when I write stuff down, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Right? So the big problem in America is, is that they is that we refuse. We refuse in America to acknowledge abject poverty. That things are not going so well. Right? Until people come clean, that half of the country is living paycheck to paycheck. Half of the country doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name. That's a hundred and seventy million people in the country are living in abject poverty, and no one has the 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 fortitude, the testicles, the nerve, the face to come forward and say it. Right? Everybody's still saying, "Oh, we're doing so good. The economy is fantastic. We've never had it so good." Right? Oh, look, the market's up. Oh, look, uh, unemployment is is went from three point seven percent down to three point four percent, and look how good we're doing. Right? F look, leaning on fake numbers. Right? These are the real numbers. One in seven on food stamps. Right? Forty million people uninsured in America, no health care. Right? 
These are the real statistics. The top one-tenth of one percent, you know, control more wealth than 99% of the people. Now, we know these statistics, but for some reason, it, it escapes people when they start talking about uh, that's oh no you can't talk about that because then it's it's anti-Trump it's anti-patriotism look seventy percent of this country are not with Trump just just for a reminder if you're watching this channel and you are with Trump that's that's good for you but seventy percent of the country is not with this president is not with this oligarchy is not with this now CIA led uh, uh, scam. Right. They're not with it. Right. So, uh, again, Trump was um, uh, a an, uh, apparently elected of the people. But now he's he's fully in bed with the cabal, fully in bed, invading, invading Venezuela, turning his back on the people of France. Right. Right. There is no fucking wall. There is no fucking health care. Right. Unemployment is 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 probably around 17 to 20 percent in this country. People are hurting, right? And it's only getting worse, right? Yellow vest is not a... That is the... Understand who the deep state is. People are still stuck on that one, right? Let's talk about it. Uh, the deep state, that it's CIA spooks, it's corrupt politicians, right? All of those are important, right? And all of those are valid. But you have an administration right now, Donald Trump, who has replaced the old swamp with a new swamp. Right. Same guys. CIA. Right. You're, you're terrified of the deep state. Well, you've got a CIA uh, 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 ex-director, Mike Pompeo, leading the charge in Venezuela. Right. Right. Ex all C uh, uh, Elliot Abrams, all CIA spooks. Right. All deep state operatives running your country, surrounded, surrounding this president. Right. Feeding the president, feeding the president direction. All right, so so that's not the that's not the problem, right? That problem will will is not going to go away. The corrupt deep state, what are they focusing on? They focus on the money. That's what they're all focusing on. Oil, gold, uh, uh, profits that the people never see, right? That's the real problem, right? So the, the the problem in this country, when you put on your yellow vest, it's it's the corporate cabal, the banks, the Federal Reserve. The the real the real thieves like I just did a story on on big pharma how they they run amok and they sell drugs and then turn around a few years later and sell the cure right in every aspect of our culture it's been corrupted by by the money influence our politics are deeply corrupted by the money influence but politicians are bought and sold like commodities right the Koch brothers dumped nine hundred million dollars into election cycles by sitting around holding your breath there's there's people in this country right now half of this kind well, good 30 percent of this country not the trump people but the hillary clinton people the pink pussy hats honestly think are waiting waiting for nancy pelosi to to impeach trump and pence so that she can be president and save the day that's actually a a, a a a theory that mainstream media is floating to the masses. Now I talked to people, I talked to someone yesterday that that told me that exact scenario that this is going to happen in the next two years. Right? That is as stupid and ridiculous as sitting around waiting for the the CIA led administration to clean its own house. Right? It's Hillary Clinton. They're going to lock her up. Yeah, right. Fucking. Hey, you remember that one? How funny that is? They're going to lock her up. Going to build a wall. The, it's the immigrants. Right? It's just such bullshit. It's you. Right? Don't you get it, man? That that's what Yellow Vest represents. The people of France get it. And 95% and of this country still is fighting over what color vest to wear. I don't want to do that. It's, it's anti-patriotic. Right? So we don't know what what's in store for the uh we all all we know about france is that it is act 12 uh of the gilet jaune it's very inspiring to see it if you are in fact awake and you know what's going on there it's 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 heart-wrenching to watch you know our mainstream media and people that claim to be awake 
swallow the Venezuela bullshit, right? You're swallowing that shit. You believe that the Venezuela that this is a coup to save the Venezuelan people, and, and what it and and refuse to look at the fact that it's just looting the country, right? That's where we're at right now, you know. And and um, so so if there is a movement in this country, a ye- a true yellow vest movement, a gilet jaune movement, a movement of the people, we'll know that when the people start getting away from their fucking computers, get out of your get out of your mother's basement, right? And and get out on the street and and talk about it, but also know thy enemy. Don't go out there saying, "Oh, we're we're out to to get the get the spooks, the CIA guys." Right? That's that's not where you go. You've got to sink the banks. You've got to. It's look. It's Occupy Wall Street. Right? It's not a it's not a mystery who the who the enemy is. But you have to identify the enemy, the banks, the corporations that that are looting our country. Right? That don't reciprocate. There is no trickle down economics. There is no. There, there's none of that. Stop calling each other's name uh, names. Stop calling me a fucking socialist for pointing out that if you raise the corporate tax rate, you have a way of deflating, deflating the oligarchy. You have no solution. Your solution is stupid. Right? Your solution of of draining the swamp is stupid because you don't even know who the fucking swamp is. Marcus Conti reporting.